This is my favourite um, plant, or, or one of two, but this is my favourite plant because it's plentiful, it's easily accessible because it grows everywhere. Um, the leaves are edible, they're very nutritious for you and they taste great. They don't have a very bitter flavour, which is um, what we often have with most edible plants. They usually have a have a, a flavour that really isn't that great. Do you eat but it raw or one, do you have to prepare it, so, you know, in some you way? Can, you, you can eat it raw or you can boil it like spinach. It's a great spinach substitute. Wow. Um, yeah, so you can either eat it as a salad herb, um, just raw uh, with after washing it, um, or you can boil it. And, and, and it's, it, it takes on the flavour of other things really well because it doesn't have a strong flavour itself. Mm. So it's a really great um, a leafy green to add to, to add to foods. And it also, it's, it's really packed with nutrition. One of the important things with um, foraged material is that it's often far more nutrient packed uh, and has, has a higher nutrient value than the kind of greens that you buy at the store. And not only that, but, you know, with store-bought uh, vegetable material being potentially somewhat modify, uh, modified, allegedly. Um, when it's a weed that is growing in your own backyard, you know it hasn't been tampered with. Um, the great thing about the marshmallow root, uh, sorry, marshmallow plant is its root. Now, the root uh, is a medicine. So when you pull up the plant, uh, keep the leaves for eating, but uh, the root, which is a very long carrot-like tap root, um, is a mucilage. Now, a mucilage is a substance which stimulates mucus production in the upper and lower respiratory tract. So the root, what you would do is wash it, uh, chop it as finely as you can, and then boil it for about 30 minutes. And what it will do is it will turn the, the water into a flavourless um, saliva-like consistency. Um, my, my grandmother used to call it cotton water. Uh, and when you drink it, it really, it, it's, it's an amazing lubricant for uh, the throat um, and also is fantastic for dry coughs. So because of its mucilage effects, it stimulates mucus production in the, in the lower respiratory tract in the lungs. Mm -hmm. And it aids in the, in the removal of um, any debris or um, any mucus that is very thick in the lungs. Um, so people often will say, I've been coughing, but nothing is coming up, but it's really dry and it's really tickly. Well, what I would recommend is, is boiled at the tea of the marshmallow root, which will aid in the expulsion of those really thick um, uh, mucus particles in the chest. Um, it's also very good for those who suffer from dry mouth um, so for those who are undergoing chemo or radiation therapy, where the salivary glands will cease to stop, uh, cease to create a saliva, they'll get a condition known as dry mouth. And what you can do is, again, boil the root for 30 minutes, um, and then you can drink it, and it lubricates the throat. Now, I can... I, I can't describe the feeling to you, but it's an incredible feeling. It just feels like, as the name, my grandmother would call it cotton water, as the name suggests, it's like drinking cotton. It just softens everything in your mouth and it also tastes great. Um, it's, it doesn't have a very strong flavour. It's, it's very, very minimal, um, but it's a, it's a fantastic tea and you can have and you can drink it daily. Um, mm. It's really good for you.